what's up snipers sniper nick here and tonight we're gonna go over the watch list for tomorrow which is wednesday january 22nd so let's go ahead and let's dive right in on the left side is our chat room uh, as well as this is where our, our watch list is gonna be and on the right side is td ameritrade stink or swim so real quick i want to pull up our chat room because our fucking chat room has been crushing it it was a super impressive day today everybody was in there grinding today i just wanted to give a quick little shout out to a couple people in here um with some awesome trades so right here sniper christine at the end of the day she locked in 18 percent on nvax this is actually a play that we're going to talk about later and then we had sauce boy who's been a sniper for a while sniper sauce boy the man himself he took SCNA, which was the play that we took overnight. He ended up playing it really, really well. And he was able to trade SCNA to make a thousand dollars profit. Big shout out there. Um, that's more than what my old paycheck used to be at the old job. So that is just fucking exciting. It's super cool to see. And then another another one, uh, one of our newer members, L Barrett 784, Sniper Leonard here. He ended up profiting on SCNA as well, and he profited 409. Uh, so those are a couple big profits that I want to give a quick shout out. Everyone else that's been grinding in there and was grinding there today, dude, it's super inspirational to be around you guys and to be in there with you guys every day. So it's awesome and uh, let's keep it going, guys. All right, so let's do it. I'm going to start at the top and we're going to start with this first group here, Fuel Cell and IBIO. As you can see, there's really only three groups here that we're going to talk about today. So let's go ahead and dive in. Our first group here, FCEL and IBIO. These are grouped together because they are both listed green days. And these are actually both posted right here, right next to each other. So as you can see, they both had really nice green days. And both of them closed at their high and they're approaching these multi-month highs. They both kept bouncing off their dips today. So let's go ahead and let's dive into the one day, one minute. And let's check out these charts. Each dip had a bounce. So these dips offered nice potential on this first day. Tough to play. This one, these both were grinding. It's nice to see is that they both held today, and they both, you know, proved themselves throughout the day all day today. So that's actually pretty impressive for both these. Now that they're approaching multi-month resistances, so we're gonna keep an eye on both, and we're gonna make those resistances, those multi-month resistances, key spots to watch for tomorrow morning. Uh, the resistance on fuel cell is three, and an IBIO really didn't expect it to hold, but again, nice bounces here. And since it is holding, now we're going to see if it could get a second leg. Uh, as you can see, this gap down multi-month resistance, again, is at 34.3. So we'll see what could happen with IBIO if it could keep grinding uh, like we saw fuel cell grind uh, last month. So let's we'll keep an eye on both of these and see what's going on with these listed plays. The next on our list, DXBRF. This one we're actually in overnight, so this one would be an exciting one to talk about. As you can see on the long-term chart, completely beat up. We said Dixie Brands, the CBD soda company that spiked in August, so look at this spike here in August, is back on the gainers list. So nice to see it come back after really not seeing much of it since August. Um, OTC first green day, we decided to swing overnight. Now, why did we swing it? We bought Dixie at 22.7 in the last two minutes as it was holding up into the close, and it did hold into the close. All right, ideally, we would have got a push into the mid 23s that's what we were looking for um and get that closed but we're gonna work with what we got tomorrow okay it's nice to see this one get volume and it's nice to see what this one hold a gain and be on our gainers list at the end of the day as this one you know in the past has once in a while come back on the gainers list but it really has never held so it's nice to see this one actually get a hold after really not doing much and get some volume back in and then as we said here, um, we were patient all day on this one because it was spread throughout the day, but it was holding that 21 support. We're looking for a nice gap up and some buyers to be able to sell into, okay? If this does not get a gap up tomorrow, we're gonna go ahead and take it right away. It was a little bit choppy today, so not giving this one too much room, especially because it doesn't give us too much cushion into the close. We're not up too much into the close. So if this doesn't gap up, we're going to sell right away. If it does gap up, ideally we get buyers to sell into in the morning, and that's what we're going to be looking for, to see if we can get those buyers and really continue off a first green day that it hasn't had in a while. Lastly, guys, these group of stocks, I have one, two, three, four, five. So we have five stocks here, and they're all speculative vaccine plays 
okay and why we say vaccine plays is because of the virus that happened in china uh, unfortunately there was a virus outbreak in china they actually just reported of a case being in seattle so beginning over here to america and uh unfortunately you know for this virus it may need a vaccination so each one of these plays got a pop um, now what's interesting with these is none of them are directly correlated with this specific outbreak with this specific virus but each one of these are biotech companies and they all have vaccines so they all are getting speculative moves and they all were moving today okay and vax seem to be leading the pack but each one of them did see green days today and they ended up holding throughout the day so we're going to keep an eye on them to see if they could get day twos you can see with onci and viv uh, ino all closing on the day now before i wrap things up here and we go on to tomorrow uh, i do want to point something out when you are playing these listed plays you want to play them with an extreme caution our consistency has came from both listed and OTC plays. However, we favor OTC plays because they're, <laughs> it's funny to say, but to us, they're not as sketchy. And, uh, you know, if you're with us, you'll be able to, you would understand that more. The more that you trade with us, you'll be able to understand that. But one example with NVAX and a listed play being sketchy, and this was a pure example on how these listed plays could be extremely sketchy. And really, you got to play them with caution, especially if they don't have that news directly correlated with them. Because check out NVAX. Had a beautiful gap up, as we were talking about earlier in the morning, right? It held over that 845 resistance. And it was nice throughout the day it was grinding and as you can saw sniper christina took the profit so awesome 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 if we see a listed intraday bag that's good enough we'll take it all day right anyway with mvax as it's grinding 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 it ends up getting a push in power hour making a new high and closing at its high right in power hour it gets an additional push Look at this, in power, it gets an additional push. But what happens right after that additional push? The company announces a $100 million public offering. So the company needs money. Of course, all these sketchy ass listed companies need money for the most part. For the most part, you can always look into the SEC to really find that out. But majority of them need money and really they don't care. They'll take the money. If the, if, if, if the stock's up, that only, mean, that only means they can get more money while it's up. So what's the reason for this being up really not much reason it's just running 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 with that sympathy what did the execs do right away boom the first day they didn't even give it another chance to get a second leg they announced an offering and they raised a hundred million dollars and ended up getting a big dip after hours going from 10 to 8 so that's why with these listed plays, again, you want to approach them with caution. That's just a quick disclaimer. Just want to give a quick heads up in the way that we look at these OTC and listed plays. All right. Uh, these are all still hot. You know, the other ones did not come out with an offering. Uh, so these are still interesting plays, especially if this virus ends up getting more mainstream news. And last but not least. If there's anything hot from our previous watch list, we like to put it on here. We have one, which is JMIA. This one is a Jamaican Amazon, supposedly. And the reason why we were really watching them, our big catalyst was 80% of the public float is short in this company, right? And we, were, we got to see that with this big spike here. Ended up getting a spike in this one day from 6 all the way to 795 and we were watching in the chat that day uh on thursday and then friday it ended up continuing so it got a dip in the morning but continued okay didn't end up closing strong however it ended up closing weak come tuesday looks like the shorts are not really winning yet as the stock is still holding up it bounced from that low of seven end up closing at its higher day of 838 so great sign here again it has a huge short interest in the public float be interesting to see if these people could get scared if it comes up to the resistance again to get another squeeze like we saw on thursday so we're going to keep an eye on jmia since it's still held up it had that red day but now it's had a consolidation day and a green day of 15 percent and it's holding up the key spot that we want to watch is 864 that was the spot 
that it topped out at on Friday when it was trading. It topped out right there. So let's see if we can get back to that spot. Ideally, we can get some morning support and then it creeps to that spot. Let's see. Let's keep an eye. All right, guys. Much love. Thanks for tuning in to the watch list. Excited to start off 2020 strong and to continue it. Much love, snipers. We'll see you guys tomorrow.